Our brave men and women in uniform fought so hard so you could lie about serving your country. So now it's, it's settled law, you are allowed to lie about receiving military medals. Yeah, so in a recent case, uh, Congress had passed a law and said that if you falsely claim to have won a medal of valor or some sort of military decoration, that you could be uh, criminally punished. And there was a uh, councilman, he claimed that he had you know, won all these uh, military honors in the hopes of making him look better uh, mm -hmm. in the eyes of the public. And, uh, and so somebody heard that and researched it, found that he, did, he hadn't in fact done it, and so he was prosecuted under this law. It went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said, look, uh, lies usually don't have much value, but that doesn't mean they don't enjoy free speech protection unless they cause sufficient harm. And in this case, they just didn't think that uh, the harm was compelling enough to allow the government to criminalize that sort of speech. Essentially, they said, look, the remedy for these kind of lies is just more speech, you know, research it and, and call the person out. Taking harm into account, um, if, do you think if there was a case where, say, for example, um, somebody claiming to have like a, a military record, a decorated military record, uh, if they, they were able to, um, you know, get money or defraud someone else, would that be taken into account? Yeah, I think that that would because if it crossed the line into fraud, you know, you lied for the, for the purpose of deceiving some, some, somebody and getting a, a tangible benefit, uh, the court has been pretty clear that fraudulent speech uh, does not deserve free speech protection. So I, I kind of want to be a Vietnam vet. Do you think I can get away with that? Well, I think you look a little young for that. Yeah. They certainly have a free speech right to do it. Our brave men and women in uniform fought so hard so you could lie about serving your country. Remember that. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any questions about the First Amendment or free speech in general, let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure to click the little bell icon so you get notified anytime we release a new video.